hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel simply key simone if you are new here i want to say welcome and if you're returning i want to say welcome back in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all my summer makeup routine and how i get full coverage with no foundation now y'all know i got a little hyperpigmentation i be having my little adult acne so this is for my girlies who want to make sure that you have that flawless face finish without the heaviness of a foundation this summer because baby it's 100 plus in texas and we not doing no foundation <laughs> okay so if you are interested just keep on watching Okay, so here we are starting off with a blank canvas. As you can see, I do have hyperpigmentation and some blemishes, but that's all right, because we about to get it together, okay? I've already done my skincare, applied my moisturizer, and also my SPF. Girls, do not forget your SPF. Even if you're wearing makeup, even if you're not even going outside, put on that SPF, honey. Okay, so first I'm going in with my Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. I've been trying this out for a month and I really, really like it. It definitely helps anything that I put on the skin, grip my face, and it really, really does help minimize those pores. Okay, so first we are going to go ahead and tackle these brows. I'm just brushing them out. Now, I do not do too much to my brows. I'm definitely more on the natural side when it comes to them. I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. And I just like to line the bottom of my brows very, very gently. And then go in and fill in some light brush-like strokes just to mimic the hair. And yeah, again, I do not do much to my brows. It really doesn't take much and yeah I just like this method because it gives it a very very realistic natural look then I'm gonna go back in with my spoolie again and just brush that out again just helping with that natural look because no matter how light you use a brow pencil sometimes you can still tell that you used a brow pencil <laughs> so then I'm gonna go over it with some clear brow and lash mascara this is from elf I absolutely love this it helps to keep my brows in place without making them look really really hard and crunchy okay so I am first going in with some color corrector this is a game changing step i promise you especially if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation the color corrector that i'm using is the hd corrector from true complexion and i'm just going on and spot treating the darker spots that i have around my face i'm not going to put this everywhere because you really do not need that much like i said just going and spot treating over a couple of my darker spots and then i'm going to just blend that out with my finger Now I'm about to go in and conceal my under eye with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. I do like to let my concealer get a little bit tacky before I start to blend that out and I'm going to be using a beauty blender for that. I always make sure that I have a clean and damp beauty blender and make sure that you blend 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 okay if you wait about I would say like a minute before you start blending out your concealer like let it get a little bit tacky that you get a little bit more coverage I don't know I could be making that up but <laughs> I tend to see a bit more coverage and I have to use as much concealer so try waiting like a minute or two before you start blending out your concealer and yeah it should be pretty good just make sure that you blend, blend, blend. Now we are going in with concealer number two and I have fell in love with this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Deep Caramel and I am just gonna go over those areas, pretty much those areas where I did my color correction. And I'm going to blend that out with a flat head brush. Now, this is what is going to keep us from using foundation, girl. Like, right? Concealer for foundation? What? But this NARS Creamy Concealer Formula, I don't know what they did. I don't know what they did, but it be concealing. 
and it be creamy okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and buff that out with my flat head brush i believe this is a foundation brush um but i'm using it for the concealer so i go around the outer areas of my face my chin my jawline my nose and also my forehead so we are just going to go ahead and make sure to blend 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 again friend keep blending and if you think you're done blending just blend a little bit more Now that my under eye has dried a little bit, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Invisimat Universal Setting Powder and I'm going to be using my little powder puff. I really, really love these. You can order these off Amazon. I will make sure to also link those down below. Now I'm going to contour and bronze at the same time with the Fenty Beauty Liquid Kilowatt. This is in the shade Honey Hottie. I love, love, love this Liquid Kilowatt. I've been using it as a highlighter and also as a bronzer contour combo. <laughs> so I'm going to use that up under my cheekbones and then I'm also going to use that to bronze my forehead a little bit. It just really, really gives that sun-kissed look, that bronzy look especially for daytime if you don't want any harsh contouring this is the product for you girl all right now it's time for blush i'm just gonna apply that in the same way that i applied my liquid kilowatt this is the cream blush from fenty beauty in the shade summertime wine it's like a burgundy color but it looks so so good on the skin i absolutely love it and i'm just going to pat that on with my beauty blender make sure to smile so you can get the height of those cheekbones girl Now I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit with my True Complexion Palette, the shade Sculpt, just for a little tiny chiseledness, nothing, nothing too deep. Then I'm going to highlight my nose and my cheeks with my MAC Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish, just a little extra shimmer, you know. Then I'm going to go in and set my face where I had my NARS concealer with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. This is just going to make sure that my concealer goes nowhere. And again, you, you're not going to need foundation. So you definitely want to make sure that you set that concealer. I'm telling you, this is, I've been using this powder for years and years and years, and it has always given me the best airbrushed light finish and set my face perfectly. Okay, so this of course is a no skip step. I'm going in with my airbrush flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. We want to make sure that in this summer heat our face is not melting off. Okay, I'm a pretty simple girl when it comes to a lip. So I'm a lip liner lip gloss and go type of girl. I'm going in with my NYX lip pencil in the shade nutmeg and just lining my lips. I don't know I just like that little you know 90s lip liner lip gloss combo I'm pretty simple when it comes to that so yeah and of course like I said hit it with some gloss I'm going in with the gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty and glass slipper I haven't tried the other colors but I really really like this formula I just might and then I'm just going in buffing out you know around my jawline just to make sure it's blended this is the same brush that I used for my setting powder just making sure that you know there are no harsh lines I'm also going to go back in with my powder puff just to make sure that you know my forehead is set my under eye is set just making sure that everything is in line okay it never hurts to go back in especially after you spray your setting spray and voila look at her who is she summer hottie baby 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 summer hottie and look look at that coverage 
you can't see nothing you don't see anything okay you don't see anything but summer glow and a light beat okay there is no foundation I really, 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 really love this makeup routine. It is super light, super cute, super fun. It's not doing too much. And as you can see, it did not take me long. If you love this summer makeup routine as much as I did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to leave me a comment down below and also be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also do not forget to slide on over to Instagram and follow me there at underscore Key Simone. And yes, I just... I just love a light summer daytime glow and I hope you all enjoy too. Thank you for sharing space with me today and I will just see you all in the next one. I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, but I'll